Sketchers, but da da da. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another GingerRunner.com review. Two today. I can't believe it. Two weeks in a row with two reviews. Both reviews today are from the same manufacturer, Skechers Performance. The review you are currently watching is for this, the Skechers Performance Go Run Ultra Road. Interesting shoe. The other shoe that I will be reviewing today is the Skechers Go Run 4, which I'm actually really excited about as well. There's a link in the description for the review of this shoe, so go check that out once you're done watching this review. <laughs> if you've watched this show for a while, you know that I have already reviewed an earlier version of the Skechers Go Run Ultra, and I was super mixed on it. This is apparently a road-specific version, which is actually funny because I figured the first version was road-specific because it didn't really work well on the trails. But I gotta give them some credit because this shoe not all that bad in fact i actually really like running in it it's extremely cushioned really reminiscent of a hoka has a fun comfortable upper flashy style and is obviously designed and built for long long runs on roads doesn't really work well on trail but i'm going to get to all the things i like and dislike about this shoe in this review let's start with things that i like the upper if you look closely at this, it actually is really reminiscent of Nike Flyknit. The fabric all woven together, which I actually really enjoy. In fact, this stuff is called Fitknit, which is funny because it's so close to Nike's Flyknit, but it's not. Cushioning. There is a lot of it. Nearly 30 millimeters of stack height with a 4 millimeter offset between heel and toe. And it's super plush, just sucks your foot on down in there. Even the insole has additional padding, has breathability and drainage built in, which is nice. But man, this shoe is cush. Cush. Flexible. Now, despite all the cushioning, all the stack height, this shoe can bend all over the place. And that's actually a surprise and pretty cool. It doesn't have a ton of longitudinal it doesn't have a ton of longitudinal stiffness, which is nice. It allows you to get into your gait pretty easily. Whee! And finally, M-Strike technology, or the rocker feel that you'll get when you run in these shoes. Every time you strike, usually in your midfoot, it wants to roll you into your forefoot. It's an interesting sensation to get used to right off the bat, but I do guarantee after longer runs in the shoe, you actually begin to forget it and just find that your forefoot strike is normal. I don't want to call it a corrective feature. It's more of just an enhancement that I feel helps the running gait be a little bit more efficient, just a little bit more rounded here in the midfoot area. Bingo, like it. But as with all products, it's not all likes. Sometimes there's a little thumbs down. Weight. You can just tell by looking at this thing, it's big. 11 and a half ounces, which in comparison to other shoes that are reviewed on the show, it's not a ton of weight, but honestly, when you're going long, you begin to feel like you're dragging your feet. And I feel like that has a lot to do with the weight and bulk of this shoe, because that is also my next dislike bulk it's a big shoe take weight aside it's just an enormous shoe huge stack height you can try to cinch the upper down as much as you want but honestly it's big a lot of volume there you never feel like you're fitting into the shoe more like you're attaching a giant piece of gear to your foot it's an interesting sensation it's just very noticeable bulk another dislike is the potted outsole i like it because it reduces weight it actually enhances flexibility but honestly rocks get stuck in there like nobody's business you're just gonna suck up rocks like a hoover hot the shoe could get a little hot despite the fact that it is this fit knit material more like a knit threaded interlaced sort of upper there are sections that are tighter knit that absorb a ton of heat and allow very little moisture or heat to escape the breathable sections up here over the toes and along the sides are great super breathable but it's not all the way around that's the problem and finally lateral stability when you start running on some interesting surfaces or going around sharp turns or going downhill you'll definitely feel the lateral stability in the shoe is lacking quite a bit with that super soft midsole material it's great for going straight for a long time but the second you start wanting to kind of go side to side you run into some squishy lateral movement and it can get a little indecisive and less precise but that's actually pretty much it for dislikes they're big ones but in general i kind of enjoyed running in the shoe some of the longer runs i did in the shoe were really comfortable i was really surprised so let's get on to the points quality I'm going to give it three out of five out of dock him a couple points. While the upper is cool, I definitely don't think it's fully dialed in yet. The midsole material, while really nice and comfortable, is also a little bit precarious. Comfort, strong four out of five. It's obviously built for comfort and for going long. Price at 115 bucks. That's a pretty good price. Four out of five. You're getting a shoe that's going to take you on long runs and can be fairly durable. So that's a good thing. And finally, looks four out of five. I'm actually kind of digging this color version, kind of digging this threaded upper. It definitely has the look of a big shoe, and that's the major drawback for me. So four out of five, but it's a borderline three. That brings a grand total to 15 out of 20, a pretty decent score, figuring that the previous version that was 
I guess, determined for trail wasn't necessarily my favorite shoe. This one, for road specific, a little bit more up my alley, especially for longer runs, and I'm kind of a fan of it. It has its problems, but it has its benefits, so 15 out of 20. And that is it for this shoe. Don't forget, I have another review right here for the Skechers Go Run 4, which you definitely want to check out. Go ahead and click this. I'll give you a couple seconds if you want to go watch that review. Three, two, one. And that is it. Cool. All right. I hope you guys liked this review. If you did, make sure that you like, favorite, share, and subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. I'm on all the social networks over on Twitter. It's at the ginger runner, Facebook, facebook.com slash the ginger runner. On Instagram, it's at Ethan Newberry. And of course, gingerrunner.com. Every Monday, live shows at 6 p.m. And don't forget to check out patreon.com slash the ginger runner to see how you can contribute to this channel and get some cool perks on the back end. Mmm, back end. I hope you guys are getting out there training hard, racing harder, partying the hardest. I know I am. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,